Assalamu alaikum dear student today we have what the problems do some AFL ASL teachers have in managing classroom interaction the main topic is talking about managing classroom if managing classroom how to make it interaction and the, here we have main problems in AFL do some AFL teachers have in managing their classroom we here we have a problem some AFL ASL teachers face include these are three problems the first problem is talking about I never have enough time this is a problem the second problem how do I get student to use English in a class this is another problem the third problem name remembering sometimes the teacher if uh, if, ha, uh, if has uh, yani a huge number of the student he or she can't remember the names of all the sessions of the students so this is a problem the first problem is talking about the i never have enough time teacher says i have never enough time uh, even to do half of what i have planned okay i'm talking about how the teacher before the teacher comes to the classroom they should be uh, give uh, or has or uh, some or what we call lesson plan or diary in order to to tick what is uh, make it today or next day or maybe is make it a schedule for the whole week okay so we have the te each teacher should has or have should the uh, the teacher should has have the uh, the schedule of what they should do inside the classroom tomorrow or next week or maybe this week okay so this is um and give each activities in order to make it a uh, uh, date or the method for example if we have five activities each activity I, I need five five minutes or ten minutes should be uh, give them a uh, restricted time okay here we have the uh, number of AFL teachers have how they save time the first one we have number of uh, ways in order to save in time the first one is what build time concentrate concentrate into the lesson plan estimating how much time it will be it will be take it will take to do each step in an activity for example to give instructions for a group test task set up groups and have student to work on the task likewise keep track of time how much time has gone by uh, by can be productive it means that we should restrict the time in each each activity the next one when sit, setting up a group work work activity simply telling each group where to locate can save time it means that when we want to divide our class classroom into groups each group should have their name in order to saving time not rearrange from the beginning okay the finally reflect on how much time it took it took to do different activities and the steps in each activities as well uh, as well as consider how we um, might use time differently to the next time we do an activity keeping record keeping a record of use the of time example in a folder with the lesson plan and material to do the activity has proven useful to a number of teacher okay if you have if you go to the other problems other problem um, how do I get student to use English in a classroom student need students need to interact only in, in English when the goal is to get students to use English much of the time problematic goal teachers have tried a number of uh, things speak English others initiate initiated the system and initiate initiate a system in which uh, students uh, can crash cash uh, in a in poker chess chips at the uh, the time they uh, they want to use their native language if you go to the next paragraph uh, if students uh, 
are not motivated to use English in the classroom, are not are not prepared or persuaded by peers to fo to follow hidden set of classroom rules that include in interactive in the student native language. Okay, if you go to there to use English language, become a novelist that way th that will likely want in their uh, effective way. If we truly believe that the student need to use language to learn English, but they are not doing so, we need to negotiate with them why it is important to use English in the classroom. It is important to gain their trust and commitment. They need to want to, to use English language in a class because they, they see value in doing so. When then we then are more uh, likely to be uh, successful in implement, implementing uh, uh, techniques that focus their attention on using English to learn English. So, so we have the third question or the third problem, the last one. The naming remember the name remembering problems. To my embarrassment, it means that uh, about the uh, the author, I never could remember my students' names. Names are important. Learning student names shows that the teacher is interested enough to know his or her name about the student. Remember, names really, really listen to the name and use it as soon as uh, the they hear it. Persons, I either they they can also study the person's face and match the name to the face. This is done by the teachers, most of the teacher, paying attention to the name and the face, working wonderful, wonderfully for me uh, when meeting individually individuals, creating create ways to learn the whole classes students about the name. Okay, this activity in order to break this. Um, uh, in order to make better remembering for the student names, we have different ways or different number of activities. Activity number one is interview. Interview it means that you inter you want uh, you as teachers want to interview the student in order to remember the name of the student. Number two, the second one, the second activity is make another activity. Round robin memory game. Memory game. So it means that it depended on how to memorize the name of the student by uh, making them to uh, to do this activity. The third activity is a cocktail cocktail party cocktail party. This this is depend on how to the student writes uh, their variety of information on a large uh, name tag. Depend on how they uh, make make uh, their names on piece of paper or maybe uh, on the right of the corner. They write number of names and repeatedly in order to uh, in order to, to memorize by the teachers. Okay, thank you.